So working in research with our agronomists here at ABMBF, it's been wonderful because we get to uh, give them new varieties that they can work closely with the growers and give the growers really what they're looking for and improving their profitability. Breeding barley is a 100% natural process, just the way you would expect it to be. We find if there's an advantage to a female and an advantage to a, to a male, we make a cross. Say we find a parent that high yield but poor malting, we'll cross with something with very good malting to hopefully recover a progeny that's better than either parent. We literally make the cross in the greenhouse with little tweezers and magnifying glasses to produce the first generation hybrid. And then after several rounds of stabilization, it's basically inbreeding because we have a self-pollinated crop, we put the varieties in their targeted region, either here in the Intermountain region or in the Midwestern region under irrigated or dry land conditions. And then year over year, we make selections on varieties that perform the best for disease resistance, agronomics, malting, and every round they move up in the trialing stages. Think of it kind of similar to the minor league system in baseball, only the best of players advance to each next round of testing. So that's done anywhere between seven to 10 years in total in the process until we get something into a farmer's hands. We have many years of data that suggest to us that it'll do well for both our malt house, our brewery, our farmers, and ultimately our consumer. So in this year, we have our newest variety, ABI Eagle, is in the elite trials and looking very good. We wanted to maintain the high extract that the maltsters love of Merit 57, but at the same time we wanted to make it earlier than Merit 57 and shorter than Merit 57. So we wanted to maintain that malt profile, increase yield, and make something better for the growers overall. What we've seen in this over the years is that it had shorter straw, better straw strength, so it doesn't lodge as much as Merit 57. It's going to be a lot more plump than Merit 57. Not quite as plump as ABI Voyager, but still well within spec. On the malting side of things, it has about two points higher malt extract, so the malting people are going to love it. About 25% lower beta-glucan, slightly higher diastatic power, DP, and ABI Eagle has about a 10% yield advantage over Merit 57 and about a 1% yield advantage over ABI Voyager. So Eagle is, is a very great variety. We're looking forward to that when we can begin to start malting that on a larger scale, especially things like extract. And so that's one of those key quality things that we look at as maltsters. And our job is to deliver as much extract as we can to our brewmasters. And these new varieties really bring that to the table. So it's very exciting for a maltster, as well as reductions in beta-glucans and more consistency in protein. Those are all things that help us as maltsters be more consistent in the end product, which leads to some of the finest beers in the world. Our 2025 goal was to increase grain yield by 10%, which means to a breeder we have a 1% per year yield gain target. That's contributing to our 2025 sustainability goals and increasing yield. The other way it is, is helping us build those variety protocols to make variety specific recommendations to our growers on how to grow the best barley. And then also we're selecting in our barleys, not only ones that do really well agronomically, but ones that are gonna be more sustainable. Either that's through earlier maturity, so farmers have to use less water, better disease resistance, so farmers might not have to use a fungicide, or nitrogen management, barleys that produce adequate protein but require less nitrogen to grow. The goal of all of it is to produce a great barley variety that will do well for our growers, will do well for our maltsters and well for our, our brewers as well, and then ultimately our consumers, and is going to help everyone be more profitable and be more successful.